Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're doing an acrylic nail tutorial using the stiletto dual forms from Glitter Planet. And I'm so excited for this set because it is a fire. Like it literally turned out freaking bomb. There are some little bits that I would definitely change and I am definitely gonna be using these again because I freaking loved them and I wanna experiment some more. But yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy watching. So I start off sizing up the dual forms, obviously, to fit. Now, there is a way that you can tailor these and make them fit around that cuticle a lot better. However, in this video, I decided I just wanted to crack on with a set. I didn't want to take too long. Um, I didn't want to mess about, so I'm just kind of going for it. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll figure it out when I get there. And I did, kind of. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys still enjoy watching. There are some tweaks that can be made, but yeah, I think it still turned out freaking pretty. So these are the products that I'm using. I'm also using Pure Pink Cover Powder, and the brush is a size 12. So all of our size 12 brushes are the same on the end. The difference is literally the design on the handle. You're either going to get like the pink, the purple, the rainbow, or... Um, you can get the metal handles with the cap, depending on what you want. I know lots of people do collect our brushes. Um, so thank you. Thank you all of you guys who do do that, because it makes me so happy seeing everybody's little collections of Glitter Planet products. Um, so I'm just preparing my little tip stand. These tip stands are freaking bomb. They are the acrylic block with the magnetic tip holders. And... I just love them. I use them to do like little tutorials, holding tips like this, loads of little bits. Um, but yeah, I'll, like I said, I'll link all the products down below. Everything's available on my website if you want to check it out. And you can use my code NINJA5 for 5% off. And also, I wanted to let you know we still do have our ongoing sale for buy three, get one for free on all of our glitters acrylic powders and gel polishes so that is really really exciting for you guys that want to stock up um but yeah let's get into the design so obviously we are working on the stiletto dual forms which means we have to work in reverse order as to what we want to be seen on the top of the nail so obviously i've gone in with a little bit of clear to cap those glitter acrylics even though we're not really going to be doing any filing um, and then coming in with my holographic blue glitter acrylic at the free edge and blending that up the nail. And then I am going to go ahead and apply um, my powder to the cuticle area when I come to apply that to the nail so that it's still wet. Moving on to the next nail, we're going to go ahead and apply pure pink. Absolutely freaking love this powder. One of my favourites. It's out of stock currently in the 45 gram jars, but we do have the larger 165 gram jars available. And um, for those of you that do want to grab this colour. So I'm just doing a full nail of that and I'm working that quite thin because again, when I come to apply that to the nail, we want to add some more acrylic. I'm going to pre-design them all and then apply them all at the same time. And I think this is just a really cool idea for those of you that just want to like, oh, I'm going to go out at the weekend or I've got such and such a place to go to, but you can't wear nails during the week or you're not going to have time. You can kind of pre-design your set, have it ready and literally just come in, add that clear acrylic or the cover powder that you're using and apply them to your nails and done. Literally da -da -da done. I think that is mind blowing. Freaking bomb. Should have been using these sooner and sharing these with you guys, but I kind of just didn't. But now here I am. We've had them on the website for so long. I know lots of you guys already have them. And um, we have them in stiletto shape, like a normal kind of overly shape. And then C curve, like a tapered, like long square, but with a deep C curve as well. So yes, definitely check out the dual forms because I think these are going to be really fun for lots of you guys to use. And I'm definitely going to do lots more videos with them, especially using acrylic. I know lots of people use poly gel or builder gels. Not many people do acrylic, so I think it's fun to also share that as well as a different process. 
So like I said, I've added my clear in just at the top, like first. So that's going to be our encapsulated layer. Then I'm coming in with my holographic glitter acrylic. Such a stunning colour. Making sure that it's like even. You don't want to kind of bunch it up all at one side. This is how it's looking. I was getting so excited. Honestly, super excited. I did miss a bit there. You can see on the side the pure pink I'm just showing you guys. But when I come in and add my next bead of that pure pink to apply to the nail, I make sure that I cover that bit. And it works perfectly. So we're just going to have a quick look at how these are looking now. Everything's dry. Nice and thin. Fabulous. And we are good to go. So we're going to start applying these to the nail. Now, I should have prepared my practice hand. I should have filed the nail and roughed it up a little bit but i didn't again i was just in the mood for like doing a really fast set and filming it and not really i don't know not really messing about too much do you know what i'm saying and literally this didn't even take me long i bet i was doing this set maybe 30 minutes it literally did not take me long at all so I've applied pure pink and then we're just going to start applying these onto the practice hand. Once I've had baby as well, um, I am going to do a full set on myself a few weeks in. I'm not going to be able to do them this long or this sharp because damn these turned out fierce like they were the sharpest nails ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll definitely do some dual form sets on myself as well. So we're just going to line up gentle pressure you don't want to kind of squash them so hard that all the product squishes out and also another thing i remember using dual forms a long long time ago and if you press so hard you get some products kind of under the nail going you know squelching out which becomes a problem you don't want that either because you don't want to have to stop messing about with your brush under the nail kind of scooping product out or filing or messing about in that sense so just light pressure so that all the acrylic has contacted with the natural nail but doesn't squelch out of the sides or from underneath and it's just making sure that that pressure is consistent can you see i'm just trying to keep it um applied to the nail i didn't like i said i didn't prep the nails whatsoever so it's kind of pinging up and i thought oh my god this is gonna be a disaster this is gonna be terrible why didn't i prep the nails but i carried on going and i thought if they all do that i'm just gonna be so annoyed like literally so annoyed but luckily they didn't they were fine um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest. Like I said, I'm just covering that gap up that I missed. And we're adding some pure pink. Blending it down the nail. And we are going to flip that over. And apply that. We're just going to go ahead basically and apply all of them. But yeah, if you enjoy watching this video, this kind of dual form application process. And you want to see more designs created with it. Because I can definitely come up with like loads of different designs but there's so many different things and um, it's another kind of way of thinking about applying the nails as well because obviously you're doing everything in reverse so it's kind of figuring out did you just hear that i don't know if you heard that i'm just the birds outside this sounds so beautiful i don't know if it was loud enough for you guys to hear but it was beautiful um yes yeah, so we are playing all these it's going to take some time but I'm just showing you guys how I was just trying to get them as close up to the cuticle as possible, even though the shape wasn't correct. But you can tailor these to fit. It's a real simple method as well. So we're going to go ahead and carry on applying. Also, I'm going to announce the giveaway winners for the spring glitters. So sorry I'm late on that. I have picked the winners. I just need to put the video together and announce them. And then you guys need to contact me. So I can get them sent out to you guys. However, it is on my other phone where I've screenshotted them. Um, and I need to edit the video together and get it up for you guys so you can see. Because I know not everybody sees. If I just kind of put it in to this video, for example, if you don't watch all the way through or you miss it or you don't get notified of the upload, you know, then you're going to miss out. And I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to do a dedicated video announcing the giveaway winners for the spring glitters. 
so that will be coming up very very soon i plan on actually doing it next because i never know i might you never know when i'm going to go into labor i don't want it to be waiting like months and months spring passes and then you can't well i suppose you can still use the glitters they're still cute as heck but you know you want to get them all in for spring and summer so now that we've applied all of the dual forms, we're just checking the underside. <clears throat> Excuse me. And as you can see, can, the product is like level with the natural nail. It hasn't bulged out. We haven't got any kind of flooding or overlapping. And that is what you want. That's the amount of pressure you kind of want to apply so that you don't have that extra work to do afterwards because it shouldn't really be a problem. Do you know what I'm saying, guys? So now we're going to go ahead and pop off all of these jewel forms and then we can come in and shape the nails. So I'm just going to come in with my hand file and we're going to go ahead and refine those edges. Very little refinement needed to be done. Um, the shape is banging, as you guys can see. Obviously, around the cuticle area, like I said, there is methods you can do to make those fit. And obviously, everybody's cuticle shape around there is different anyway. So, yeah, I'll go through another video of that and how you can resolve that. And if you plan on using them on clients or whatever, you can easy pre-design sets. So many, like, opportunities, do you know what I'm saying? I missed a bit there as well. I'm just showing you guys. I chose one that was way too small, but anyway. Filed ready to go we're going to add some crystals some designs and we're going to jazz these up mainly to mask the flaws <laughs> um but yeah like i said this was my kind of first try in a while it had been a while since i'd used dual forms um but yeah i'm going to buff off the shine so we can come in and add some gel and um apply our crystals and our little nail charms which i think just brought the set to life it looked freaking stunning perfect for spring like a spring blue meadow. Um, but yeah, you can also file, like I said, dual forms can just be an aid on applying product. So if you wanted to blend in that cuticle, add another little clear cuticle bead, you could definitely do that. Don't limit yourself to what you can do with them because honestly, use them however you feel benefits the way you want to apply your nails. So we're going to use a gem glue gel and I'm just using a flat brush. Um, I'm loving this gel, guys. I'm applying it to the full nail for this design because I'm going to apply crystals all the way down the nail. Um, you don't need to top coat over it because it dries with a no wipe finish. Of course you can if you really want, but there isn't really a, necess a necessity. It, I don't even know if that's the word. <laughs> it's not necessary to do so. Um... Just getting my crystals together using this oval brush from the five piece brush set. I'm going to apply the gel to this entire nail and we're going to add our bling. And I love how this looked. It literally made this set look absolutely freaking stunning. And I love as well that we had the element of the glow acrylic powder in there as well. So another little fancy, fancy schmancy bit to this set uh, but yeah we're just going to go ahead apply some little blue flowers and pearls and crystals around the cuticle but then we're going to kind of fizzle them out towards the free edge i haven't done this kind of look for a while and i was just like feeling it and i was like yes this looks freaking pretty it looked so pretty i hope you guys enjoyed watching this as well and hope you like how it turns out
Also guys, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you are new here, please do hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I do upload videos very, very, I was going to say frequently. I definitely do, but I have been pregnant and very sick. So it's been a little bit hit and miss. But once I am back, I will be back. I promise to upload regular content for you guys. Um, I've just been doing my best. That's literally all you can do, isn't it? When you're kind of in a time of uncertainty um but i'm glad i've got quite a bit of stuff out for you guys i thought i was going to completely drop off the face of the earth but i've kind of managed to bring you guys content which i'm happy about and hopefully you guys have been enjoying it too so yeah hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below if you think this set turned out cute and yeah this is the final look i'm gonna go ahead and cure it in the light Add some cuticle oil just to kind of make my hand look fancy schmancy and not all dusty and rusty. And then that is it. This is the final look. Like I say, it's not perfect. The way that I've done the dual form application isn't a hundred percent, but it still looks freaking bomb. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, please remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck, and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and i love you Mwah. bye also check out the glow acrylic powder i'm going to show you guys just how freaking bomb it looks turning all my lights off mm, damn this is skyline it's part of the city lights collection you can get it individually as well um but it's freaking stunning absolutely love it and the glow is impeccable but yeah i'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out and i'll see you in my next one bye